What's good guys, GP here, back with another episode. And this is really just a conversation. This episode isn't going to really involve any reviews. It's not going to be talking about any products, any companies, anything like that. It's just one of those conversations that I like to have with you guys sometimes because some shit's on my mind. You know, even this last um, Cannabis Library episode, if you guys saw that, was more of like a conversation type episode. So I figured I wanted to make another one this morning. And really what I've been thinking about the most is like making changes in our life pretty much. And as we make changes in our life and as we try to have a quote unquote better life, I guess, or a different life or a more ideal life than what we had before, the changes we have to make in ourselves first in order to achieve those things. And to me, that step is the hardest, you know, because the change in our life, and this is just all obviously, guys, I'm not a, a psychologist, a psychiatrist, uh, even have a degree in any type of social sciences, but this is how I encounter the world and how I see things. So the way I see things is, essentially, if you want to have a better life, if you want to have a different life, you have to elevate your mind and body to being in the same frequency of that goal or that better life. And the best way I can put that is, um, my grandfather used to always be like, you don't deserve anything better if you haven't, or if you can't take care of what you have. Um, so for somebody who has a bike, for example, and they have even an older bike, you know, and they really, really want a car, but if they can't really take care of that bike, how do you expect to really respect and be able to take care of that car? If you can't take care of a, a dog, how could you have a child? If you can't take care of an apartment, how could you have a home? And, and that might not always be the case, but at the same time, I do think it's kind of a good mindset to keep. And with that being said, this is stuff that I struggle with. Like wanting more than what I currently have um, but not necessarily looking at the equation, looking at the process, really making those incremental changes to that I have to do every day. Like for me personally, like if I need more hours of the day, I have to get up earlier. I have to go work out. I have to keep my body right. I have to drink more water. I have to do the things I need to do to take care of myself better in order to elevate the lifestyle that I'm currently living if I want to and those things have to be done every day day to day with almost no breaks which is a very scary daunting thing to think about like thinking to yourself if I want to live different if I want to do things different if I want to operate at a different frequency, I have to continually change and continually get better. It seems like something that's like obvious or seems like something that should come natural to us, but it doesn't. For me, it's much more fun to sit at home and smoke weed. <laughs> or it's much more fun to just chill and just kind of not have to think about driving myself forward. You know, for me personally, I like chilling. Getting a degree, didn't care about it. Going to school, didn't care about it. Making a high wage in life, didn't care about it. Like, so for me, finding the motivation to even do what I do or to do anything day to day is first the challenge. And on top of that, finding something that can motivate me to be able to do it for hours a day while also making myself as a person in terms of what I eat, drinking water, exercise, being nice to Nicole, being nice to the people around me, um, doing that to the highest level possible, it's a challenge and it's a day-to-day -day grind. But 
but I have some I am someone who's always been of the mindset because of how I was raised if you want better you have to be better you have to do better you have to put yourself in better positions um, to like thrive you know and even as I say that and I think about myself and I think about what I do day to day to try to thrive sometimes I'm like it's not enough you know that's especially with that millennial feel where we're all in debt None of us have very much money. We're all trying to find a job that can hopefully somewhat make us happy, but also pay the bills. It's not an easy task. And we're taking instructions and advice from a lot of people who don't even know how PowerPoints work. You know, or don't even know what the modern day world challenges are like. Because of the way that computers uh, radicalize things and move things so quickly, of course, older people will always have that wisdom. But in terms of like career moves and career choices and stuff like that, they oftentimes really don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But with all that being said and all the challenges that we face, it is crazy to me that how I feel about it, like if we want to get better and we want to move forward in life and we want to do the, at least the next goal. I don't have long-term goals. I don't know where I want to be at 40. I don't know where I want to be at 28, 27, you know, but what I do know is I want to be happy each step of the way. And if I want to be happy each step of the way, I have to create a landscape that allows me to be happy. You know, I have to put myself in a position to where I have the time, have the resources, have the people around me that can make me happy and to do that, I have to make some tough decisions. I have to make some selfish decisions at the end of the day. And I have to elevate myself up to the standard in which I want to be living or else I'm kind of just dreaming, you know? Yeah, or else I'm, I'm kind of just dreaming because there's a lot of things that I want to do in my life and I don't have a a timetable for those things necessarily but I usually get that feeling when the time is right to do certain things and, and when to make certain transitions but I'm always preparing kind of for that next transition that I know is gonna happen like for example when I knew I was about to graduate high school when I knew I was about to graduate college when I knew I was about to have to head back home to live with my parents for a quick second when I, I'm trying to like prepare mentally for those things because there's some things that I know I'm gonna struggle with or I know I'm not gonna like, or I know are gonna be a challenge for me. And I like to be at least like mentally ahead of those things if possible, um, so I don't get caught off guard. And those are the things that I guess I'm saying when I'm talking of like elevating my mental, you know? Putting my mental in that next frame of mind, in that next stage of life in order to Thrive the way I want to thrive, I guess. I hope this conversation is, or this talk is making sense to you guys. It's just how I see life. If we want better, we have to be better. We have to be better versions of our current selves. And <coughs> to me, that doesn't necessarily mean we have to change. We have to change some things that we do, but I don't think that makes us have to change as people. <clears throat> I think we have to change some of the things we do, though, and some of the um, habits we have, breaks, breaking some of those old habits. I have some horrible habits, like we all do, you know, and, and being able to face that and being like, all right, that's wasting my time. That's wasting my time. That's wasting my time. That's not a good return on the investment of time. And being able to break down those barriers and break down those habits that we've built for ourselves and put in new habits. Like I was saying earlier, the habits for me of like needing to drink water, getting the right amount of sleep, I'm talking, speaking to who I need to talk to, um, getting the work done I need to get it done before I have fun, because I'm a fun first person, always. <laughs> I'm thinking of the fun option always first, always. 100% of the time, not 100, definitely not 100, but like 75% of the time I'm thinking of like how can I have fun in this situation because I think that's how life should be. If you're not trying to have fun in every situation, why are you trying to make it not fun then? That doesn't make sense to me. I've said in another video before, like I've never understood, like it's not fun to me to not be having fun. 
So why are you trying not to have fun for anybody in any situation? Why are you not trying to have fun? I can't think of a situation in which it is more physically, emotionally, mentally enjoyable for somebody to not have fun. I can't think of any. I can't think, not for me, because I like having fun, you know? But it's interesting. As somebody who struggles with um, changing their lifestyle up, as someone who struggles with um, tr <clears throat> trying to elevate my mindset to that next stage of life and not just, not necessarily settling, because in some instances settling is okay, but embracing, I guess, you know, each challenge as they come and taking them one step at a time and head on and not trying to tackle everything at once, you know? I We all have our, our faults, we all have things that we struggle with, we all have our mistakes and stuff like that, but um, it, it's crazy how just kind of like just tweaking the mind a little bit, you know? All right, I'm gonna take this much extra time to do this. I mean, and, ha and then once you start to do those things and you start to allot your time some and you start to get a little bit more organized, like you get more into a groove and stuff like that, it becomes more enjoyable, you know? It truly does, I think. I think that is what leads to joy, is having that routine that's built for you that you like, you know, but that's still efficient. It's crazy what a good routine can do. I've gotten into grooves where I had a perfect routine. I felt like I was clicking and then you fall out of that, you know, like that happens to everybody. You fall out of it and then you kind of jump back into it and then you play with it. But it, it, it takes like that mental stability and that mental fortitude to just be like, no, fuck that. Like I am staying in this groove and I'm going to um, get myself to this next level, this next hump. And it's cool um, to create goals like that, you know. So I'll create a goal to where a lot of times a little bit of an unreachable goal, you know, a goal that I probably, like if you're thinking in just like a straight non-optimist a not optimistic, just reasonable mindset, all right, this is where I think I should be able to get. And that's a dangerous mindset to get into because, like, it can limit you. But if you're just thinking in that mindset, I'm usually trying to be like, all right, what can I, what don't I think I can reach? And a lot of times I'll reach it because you'll be surprised, but a lot of times I won't also. But that's just a part of that mental stability of just being like, all right, regardless of reaching it or not, we're still moving forward. But there are, like, intermittent goals in the middle to get us where we want to be. So this goal, this video, the goal of this video is really to talk about like elevating one's mindset, I guess. Because the mindset is like everything, you know. How you think about a situation is the situation. How you embrace a situation is what the situation is. The situation is never naturally one way unless we're dead I guess something like that but like for us personally at least but um, overall like the situation is usually what you make of it how you take it and what you choose to do with yourself with the current set of circumstances that you've been given and I guess that's really what makes us as people too like how we embrace each given situation and circumstance and spend it in our favor or let it hurt us. We'll learn from it, even if it does hurt us. So whatever your guys' goals are, I really do encourage you to um, kind of find those steps, find those goals, um, find those, for another metaphor, my dad, we used to always go golfing, and um, when we'd go golfing, he'd be like, son, don't be looking at the flag, you know? Find a spot in front of you and aim for like a spot like 10 yards in front of you and try to hit the ball 
10 yards in front of you because if you hit the ball 10 yards in front of you, like that action will translate into the ball going towards the flag. So find that goal that's kind of like 10 yards in front of you, you know, the goal that's like 10, 15 yards in front of you, um, or if we're talking time, a day, two days, maybe a couple weeks ahead of you, not necessarily the goal that's 10 years ahead of you, five years ahead of you, and focus on that. Focus on knocking that down 10 yards, 10 days at a time, and if you can do it like that, like the process can be proven, you know, like the process has been proven for a lot of people. Because, and that process is different for everybody's different niche and market or whatever, but if you read and you look at the people who are successful and what you wanna be at, kinda of look at what they did, separate their lifestyle from kinda of like your lifestyle because things are gonna be different. Um, see some of their work ethic, how much time they're putting in, and then see how you can kind of like radicalize or change what they did and then apply it to these like time periods. All right, no, I'm gonna learn how to do this in this time period. I'm gonna learn how to do this in this time period. And I'm gonna build on top of each thing and expand my wealth of knowledge to where in 10 years, but broken down to 10 days at a time, like it'll be easy to kind of like tackle, it'll be easier to tackle everything and it'll be a more enjoyable experience because you'll be able to celebrate after 10 days. Like in golf, for that meta, back to that metaphor, you're able to celebrate once it hits that flag, 10 seconds, like not even 10 seconds later, the ball, the flight of the ball is like four or five seconds. So four or five seconds later, if you just took that one second of focus to hit 10 yards ahead of you, you just get to celebrate for the next like 200, 300 yards, depending on obviously how far the ball goes, 100 to 300 yards, usually in golf. So it's, in the same way, if you just focus 10 years ahead, you can look back 10 years past, you can look ahead 10 years and be like, all right, I'll get there, but 10 days at a time, but then in 10 years, look back and be like, damn, like, I don't even remember the 10 day stints. The 10 day stints were enjoyable at the time now, and the solution is enjoyable now. That's just how I see life. It's not right, it's not wrong. It's just kind of GP's perspective, you know. Because if you use that, back to that metaphor from golf, if you're swinging for the flag every single time, you're gonna fuck up every single time too, you know? And in golf, it usually takes I mean, it's never one swing. It's minimum three swings to get it to that flag anyway, typically. So if it's a minimum of three swings, why are you hitting for the flag? It doesn't even make sense. You should be, instead of even thinking 10 years, you should be hitting it 10 yards to think about five years if we're crossing metaphors here. Maybe not the 10 year mark because it's impossible to jump from here to there. It's impossible to hit it off of tee box par four straight. I mean, unless you like St. Andrews, link style, you know what I'm saying? But more than likely, you're not about to hit no green and a hit, you know? It's just not gonna happen. So why even disappoint yourself with thinking that that's what the reality is? Why not just break it up and realize it's gonna be what it is and move forward with joy that you have like the opportunity to actually even break it up and, and think about it like that, you know? I apologize for crossing metaphors right there between time and golf, but I think if you're following me, you understand what I'm saying. I encourage you to share this with anybody who feels like life is moving too slow or they're not doing, or it's too moving too fast or they're not doing what they need to get done. This life is long, you know? And, and if we can focus on, if we can have some fun and immediate goals, you know, <laughs> and
and even stuff outside of professional goals and outside of money making goals is having that health goals in different areas of our life we can enjoy con constant like small celebrations and because there is no big celebration you know life's just going to keep moving even if you get the dream job go to the dream school marry the dream woman <laughs> life is still going to move forward the day after that dream happens so um, you might as well just be prepared to like kind of suit up and just, all right, this dream happened, okay, now we're pivoting. But be ready for that pivot and be prepared for that pivot because that pivot is where like a lot of shit can get fucked up because preparation has to be made. And if preparation is not made, you're just not gonna be able to succeed. So, and that's not, it's not to say you're not gonna be able to succeed. It just might happen slower than you were originally thinking um, because you were under the kind of guys that when that junction happened like there would be like some type of revelation or something like that but the world keeps spinning I appreciate you guys hanging out with me I don't know I mean they're gonna go run or go swim here after this I need to do some exercise I missed yesterday late night at a comedy club the night before that so I was pretty tired that's an excuse but just didn't get it done appreciate you guys coming to another video chilling with me once again I encourage you guys to kind of figure out like your intermediate past you know figure out what you can do day to day that you can enjoy that you can have fun doing day to day to pass life, you know, because life is here, to em but not pass it, but to embrace it, because you, you're here. So you might as well embrace it, you might as well have fun, you might as well find what you want to do and attack it full head on, and if you figure out it's not what you want to do, you say, fuck that thing, and you go find something new to do until you find that thing that you want to do every day. And if somebody's like, you should settle on what I think you should do every day, you should say, fuck you. <laughs>